Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, January 12, 2024. I pray today that the Lord will continue to watch over you, that he will bless you and keep you as you continue to walk in his light. Our reading today comes to us from Daniel chapter 3, reading verses 14 to 18. And it reads, Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my God, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimber, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour in the midst of a burning fiery furnace, and who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? 16 says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. 18 and last says, But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word. This is a well-known story about the three Hebrew boys. We heard it as children growing up. We heard it in Sabbath school. We heard it preaching sermons and so on. Now King Nebuchadnezzar, he was very proud of his accomplishment. And so, because he was a very proud man, very boastful, he decided that I am going to build myself an image so that I can get worship. And so he set up this image and then he instructed that all the people should come and worship the image. Now he gave a specific instruction. He said, at the sound of the music, all these different kinds of music, I want all of you to bow down and to worship the image that I have set up mercy. And so he gave the instruction and he, he says that so refusal to worship will have consequences. And so he says that they will be killed or they will be cast into a fiery furnace. Now among all these people were three boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were faithful servant of God, and so they were among the crowd. When the instruction was given, these three boys decided that they will not fall down and worship the image. They will remain steadfast no matter the cost. While everyone else bowed down at the instruction, these three boys stood tall over the crowd so someone noticed that the boys were not bowing down and a message was sent to the king now when the boys came the king decided to give them a second chance to bow down to the image and the boys stood their ground this made the king angry and so he gave the command to his guard to cast the boys into the fire nebuchadnezzar said who is this god who is able to deliver you from my hands? The boys responded by saying, God is able to deliver us. But even if he choose not to deliver us, we still will not bow 
to the image they were make an example of and so the message in this story is a very powerful one we will at times face with situation that would threaten to compromise our principles and our faith in god many of us are compromising today those of us who work in companies and are asked to work on saturday on sabbath some of us are, are even threatened by our employers that if we refuse to work on saturday we will lose our jobs and many of us out of fear and the fact that we have family to take care of and bills to pay we compromise even if it's just for one day or one hour or a minute that compromise is a grave mistake and a total betrayal to God. So what is your resolve? What will you do when you are put in those positions like the three Hebrew boys? Will you remain steadfast to God or will you fall down and worship? Will you bow to the pressure? We need to think about our relationship with God and where we stand with him who we are going to be loyal to, God or man. Because the truth is that we all are put in position like those, similar to the Hebrew boys' experience. And so we have to make a decision now that comes what may, it doesn't matter what it is, I will remain steadfast. If I lose my job, I will remain steadfast. If I'm persecuted, I will remain steadfast. And those of us who attend school, I know there are times when you are required to come in on a Saturday to do extra credit or to do some kind of makeup or some study in order to pass your exam. And sometimes these teachers and lecturers they will threaten you with a failing grade if you don't show up to the class but i just want to encourage you to remain steadfast if you stand up for god then god will work on your behalf i'm not saying that it's always easy because when you think about everything that is on the line it is a scary experience but i just want you to think further Think about what you will be sacrificing by going to these classes, by going to work. You are gambling your soul salvation. And what does the Bible say? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So don't worry. God will take care of everything for you. So keep on keeping faithful and keep on trusting him amen may god continue to bless you and your family and may he cover you may his protection always be on you and give you peace have a wonderful day